All eyes on Bruno Fernandes. In imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? And hello from the stadium that was the main venue for the 2012 Olympics here in the English capital. We're at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United up against Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And a look at the West Ham 11. Alphonse Ariola between the posts. Angelo Ogbonna plays alongside Kurt Zuma in central defence. Sebastian Horde plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the striker of choice today is Danny Ings. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. And now they get the ball rolling. Casemiro. Jamal Musiala. Anthony. Kane. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Kane. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Danny Ings. And the corner has been given. Now sending it in. It's still alive. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, so close to seeing the Oh, wait goal. a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Can't miss, surely. And a goal. Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace on the counter attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. Well, I think it's a good moment to send it over to Alex Scott because, Alex, I'm getting word there's been a goal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Yeah, it's a goal for Leicester City. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with nine minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. Teammates in the middle. And you need your defender to take charge. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Given away by Manchester United. Harry Kane. United finding space on the wing. Will it be Harry Kane? Oh, did so well to deny him. Yeah. 
So the corner played into the box. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Declan Rice. Now with Ben Rachma. Rice. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Anthony. And a strong tackle. Lucas Paqueta. And it might be. And keeping it out. Can someone get on the end of this? Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Determined defending. Maguire. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Casemiro. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and throw out the opposition. Oh, he looks threatening. Kane. And a goal here for Manchester United. They are the big favourites now. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish from Kane is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Paqueta, can he get one back? It could be up for grabs. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Great vision from Harry Kane. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Goal for Manchester United. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Concession Walker, please go to the ticket office to meet Nathan. Lucas Bagheta. Danny Ings. Border. Surely. Oh, a smart stop. An example of a goalkeeper in top form here. Malasia. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and the visitors are prospering. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, what a totally dominant performance this has been so far. Their attacking play has been a joy to watch. They've passed it forward at the right times, they've switched play quickly, and we've seen some great individual displays as well. I don't think they're let up in the second 45. And a good take under duress there. Musiala. Throw in for West Ham. Emerson in position here to protect the ball. Oh, but they've lost it now.
West Ham recovering possession well. Said Benrama. Really vital interception. Kane. And space here on the flank. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Border. And reading it absolutely superbly. Paqueta. Can he make it count? Save, but still a chance. And a time for cool heads. Anthony. Diogo Dallo. Now Casemiro. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So there goes the half-time whistle. It's Manchester United on top here. Well, I have to say, their attacking play has been a joy to watch. Their passing has been incisive, the movement's been bright, and they fully deserve their lead. Can they now defend well in the second half? Something they haven't done for much of the season. And... So back in business, the second half underway, and the Hammers' difficulties were there for all to see in the first half. How do they respond now? And threading it forward. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Casemiro. Diogo Dallo spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Rashford. And he favours the inside route. A routine save. Right, a goal update to bring you from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. That means we join Alex. Yes. It's a second goal for Spurs. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. They're now behind by one with 51 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Casemiro. Rashford. Straight forward for the keeper. Anthony Bruno Fernandes read it well decent position losing possession a bit easily wonderfully weighted pass credit to them for winning back possession Diogo Dallo. Casemiro. Now with Paqueta. Can he finish? And a decent save. Full credit.
Corner kick played in. Body on the line. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. Well, how did that not go in? It was a great effort, you have to say. Declan Rice. Rice. Now with Emerson. Paqueta. Rice. And still they wait for the chance. Oh, good save. Here it is now, a substitution. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Diogo Dalot. Coming onto the pitch, number 29, Aaron wan -Bissaka. Played over. The danger here as he runs at them. Clattered away. And news of a goal at Anfield. Alex Scott has all the information for us. It's another for Brentford. It's now level at 2-2 with 68 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Sloppy in possession from United. Emerson. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair. Almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper, and that seemed to catch him off guard. A really good controlled finish. Can he do it? And a goal! They just keep believing! Who's to say they can't do it now? Well, here it is again. The through ball is wonderfully executed, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Right, let's join Alex Scott, because I understand there's been a goal in the Spurs game, Alex. It's a third goal for Spurs. They're back in this now with 73 minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And into the last 15 minutes of action. It's looking promising. Rice. And you need your defender to take charge. And teammates to play it to. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Marcus Rashford. Oh, managing to beat him. Harry Kane! And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Perfect tackle. And I'm hearing that something has happened in the City game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. 
It's a goal from Manchester City. They're ahead by two now, with just under 10 minutes left to play. I really can't see them letting it slip now, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. Rice. Still a chance. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Switch of play. Marcel Zabitza. And return to Kane. And West Ham have possession again. And threading it forward. Marcel Zabitza. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And a long way out here. Well, the goalkeeper managed to make the save without much difficulty in the end. Well, not quite precise enough when all was said and done. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. as far as stoppage time is concerned three minutes here the border and with that the attack fizzles out Manchester United unable to hold on to the ball and there it is, the final whistle. It's a Manchester United victory. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.
Hi guys, thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now. Okay, guys, thanks so much for today. See you next time. The man of the moment. What a start he's enjoyed in this competition. Will there be more heroics today? You're watching EA TV. Well, you can certainly feel the excitement tonight here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And very excited to be bringing you final group stage game action in the UEFA Europa Conference League. It is Manchester United and they take on Maritimo. Well, thanks, Derek. It's a real pleasure to be here. What a great atmosphere we've got inside the stadium. I'm really looking forward to this one. It should be a good contest, that's for sure. is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea between the posts. Christian Eriksen starts alongside Marcel Zabitza in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today.
And this Europa League group stage confrontation commences. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Delivered into the box. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Is this the moment? And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Out of play. United throw in coming up. Marcel Zabitza. Well, no two ways about it, Stuart. The home side have certainly taken this group by the scruff of the neck. Well, they've made it look easy, haven't they? They've played some great football and they've just been too good for their opponents so far. Can he find the right pass? That's excellent defending following the cross. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Now the delivery, still not clear. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Can they nudge in front? Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger of Ozzie. And over comes the corner. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Gives it a go. Determined defending. And the keeper takes the fall, but the main thing is he held on to it. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, I think we can expect... Really good diving save. Kick taken by Christian Eriksen. Firing it in. Superb block. Claudio Vink. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Martial. Doku. It's a fine United move in the making. An alert intervention. Martial. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Reina. Well, possibilities in the centre. And the flag does go up. Must have been close.
Eriksen. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Abraham. Well read to ease the pressure. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Offside it is. Such a pity for him. Well, he thought he was onside, but I think the assistant got that absolutely right. Tammy Abraham. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Breaking at pace. This looks promising. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Manchester United taking on Leeds United. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Tammy Abraham. Claudio Vink. Just the challenge that was required. Abraham. In behind for him to chase. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Reina. And it might be a favourable situation this for Manchester United. A really vital interception. Moreno. Vitor Costa. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams... Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Well, he was being pressed, but did his job. Reina. Giovanni Reina. Tammy Abraham. Ericsson. Well, he failed to deliver that time. Tammy Abraham taking care of business defensively here. Well read to put an end to that attack. Juan Bisaka. And he did well to cut it out. Juan Bisaka. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Oh, he's given us away.
And there goes the whistle. That closes the book on the first half here at Old Trafford. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game. And so the second half is underway in this Europa League group stage confrontation. Oh, great vision. He's taken on his opponent here. In with a chance. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Well, the United fans are right behind their team. They believe there's a goal coming here. Space on the flank. And a decent save. Full credit. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Played over. Struggling to get it away. Must be! Oh, he's blocked it! Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. He's found a pocket of space. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Opportunity in the wide area. Can they forge ahead? And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Martial. And he takes it away. Well, they get the ball once more. Tammy Abraham. Timely intervention. And they could face difficulties here. He takes aim. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Moreno. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Let's see about the delivery. Well, this has been an excellent game so far. Both sides have been good going forward, and we've seen some outstanding displays from the attackers. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Can he give them the advantage? And the challenge, crisp and clean. Space afforded him. Now he must favour the cross. Just the challenge that was required. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they keep it going? And an astute piece of defending. Running with the ball confidently. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Certainly not alone. Determined defending. Malasia. Abraham. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. I think I spoke too soon. 
wasn't the best of passes finally Pablo Moreno can he give them the lead and he read it well defensively it's a corner here's a change for Manchester United Number 16, Marcel Sabitzer, coming onto the pitch. Number 34, Danny Anderberg. Delivering it. Well, that's the end of that for now. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. And given away. Getting forward. Real chance. Oh, keeper dealt with it. And over it comes. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Costa. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. And offside by the merest of margins. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Karim Adeyemi Doku Adeyemi Fred with it Well pass after pass Maybe they can chisel an opportunity Oh managing to beat him Well it looks so promising But a goal kick the outcome It's opening up for them. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, nothing productive, really. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Can they nudge in front late on here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. A oh, terrific pass. <laughs> Difficult to stop him. Can they forge ahead? Top notch defending, but the chance still there. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Could wrap it up. Pivotal moment defensively. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. And room now out on the flank. Who can he pick out? It has to be. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front.